is good everybody my paper moon fam it's your boy paper sin aka the hokage of the village in in that loud you feel me but uh i figured that since i'm awake and i'm baked I might as well bring you some news because apparently you know how Baldur's gate is popping off doing this thing you know what i'm saying um then you got see what what was it sea of stars sea of stars you know um also you know might be the dark horse of the to win the game of the year uh for 2020 2023 and um, both of both of which I do uh, randomly play every now and then on kick.com slash paper sin. Link in the description. But uh, anyway, apparently, 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 Forbes magazine says that Spider-Man 2 is low-key one of the most important games of the ps5 generation okay 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 so spider-man 2 is kind of important too you know what i'm saying uh let's see it, it this article is by paul tassie senior contributor at least um opinions expressed by force okay so before we get into this we can listen to the article which i probably will do instead of just like reading it myself because i'm lazy i got other things to do anyway so apparently we're gonna watch the uh spider-man 2 story trailer first and then we're gonna scrub through the spider-man 2 game uh game trailer not game trailer but um gameplay reveal or something like that and uh because i think it's like 12 minutes long so we're just gonna scrub through that one so stay tuned and let's get started shall we cool 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 as always, links to all, link to everything will be in the description below. So while you're in, so while you're down there checking out the links, the descriptions, links in the descriptions if you want to see this shit for yourself, you should go ahead and also you know send a click that. Uh, go ahead and kick that comment slash paper All right, let's go. <laughs> well, a lot's happened in the last ten years. It's a miracle I'm even sitting here now. I got a second chance. I'm going to take advantage of that. Hmm. But I need you with me, Pete. That's Pete. We're going to heal the world. That's... Holy shit. So is that... Hmm. Oh! Hey guys, this is my best friend, Harry. Yeah, hey. that's, yeah it was Harry Good then. Good job, huh? Still going to have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. Okay. I didn't know there were bears in these woods. Yeah. Hey, MJ, I have another name for you. Craven. He's here on some kind Craven. of hunt. Yeah, he's... No, if you need me, I'm just a call away. Hey, you don't know what you took from me. Oh, my Hold on. Hey, you don't know uh. what you took from me. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man. How to help you. What the hell's going on with me? He's not himself. Go help him. Oh, is this a Venom suit? This was our dream. I'm not going to lose him. We're going to kill the world. Okay, so you know, that's cool. I'm interested. Uh, it does look like you have to play as both the um, both of the Spider Man, both versions of Spider Man, Peter Parker, and Miles Morales. And yeah, this is this looks like it's gonna be pretty fun. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. But in the meantime, wait, is this gonna be on PC? It's gonna be on PC, right? 
Or is it, just, or is it a, a PlayStation exclusive? PlayStation. I don't know. It's like, well, this is at least the PlayStation uh, trailer for it. So doesn't mean it's not, only, doesn't mean it's only for PlayStation. Anyway, let's, let's, let's scrub through the uh, gameplay reveal for a hot second. The beast could be anywhere. You have no idea. This whole blizzard hunt ends now. Huh. Leave Connors alone. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, yep, there's I'll boot up and see you there. Miles. They got here fast. So yeah, yeah, you do get to play as both of them. This is too many spoilers for me, Lo. Yeah, I don't like I don't like spoilers. So that's too many spoilers for me. But but uh yeah, so far so it does look like it's gonna be you know inter interesting game. Um, let's go ahead and listen to the, this is the one, this is like one of the reasons why I like Forbes magazine, online magazines, like they just have someone read it for you. You can just be lazy about it. So anyway, let's just, let's check it out. <laughs> Spider-Man 2 Feet is low key one of the most important games of the PS5 generation. Oh, never mind. They just do AI, have AI do it. Fair enough though. By Paul Tassi. While everything is Starfield, Starfield, Starfield right now. With Microsoft celebrating what could be its biggest first party win in two generations now. Okay, now I don't want to listen to AI doing it. I want to do it myself. <clears throat> While everything is Starfield, Starfield, Starfield right now, with Microsoft celebrating what could be its biggest first party win in two generations now. Ooh, they throw in shade at Microsoft, yo. Hold on. It's easy to overlook something happening across the black wall over at Sony. PlayStation is about to release Spider-Man 2 on October 20th, which was in fact not delayed out of this fall. Some things, uh, some, myself included, predicted may happen, but Insomniac games usually hit their mark, both in terms of game quality, but also release date. While it's easy to, easy to think of God of War, Uncharted, The Last of Us, and Horizon Zero Dawn, as the PlayStation franchises, I'm not sure how many people actually realize just how big the first Spider-Man game was in PS4 in the PS4 era. Real quick, I, I have to I have to wonder: is this art? Is this, is Forbes doing this article because they're they're trying to like prep for like you know ticket sales for the movie? Like, is there? Um, is, I know there's currently no like uh, release date for like Spider-Man 4 movie. But I also know there was supposed to be there's some Marvel movie coming out, I think in January or June 2024. It's unnamed or whatever. But then you also got Tom Holland taking a, a one year break from acting. So I don't know. So people are saying maybe it's not Spider-Man, but, you know, it could definitely still be Spider-Man. That's Marvel's way of trying to, like, trick you and, you know, get you to think it's not coming anytime soon. But I don't know. So is that why this article is on Forbes saying, hey, don't forget about Spider-Man uh, 2 coming out soon. Is that to try and link it to, you know, Hollywood Spider-Man 4 or Marvel Spider-Man 4? Anyway, the movie. Anyway, um, it was the biggest exclusive. In fact, Spider-Man sold 20 million copies, topping God of War's 19.5 million by last report. That's also ahead of Uncharted's four, uh, Uncharted 4's 16 million and double The Last of Us 2, The Last of Us Part 2, <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn, and T-L-O-U are uh, remastered at the Lord of the Wait, the Rings? I don't know. That's T-L-O-U. Remastered at 10 million. Hold on, what's T-L-O-U? 
The Last of Us. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see, what else? More recently, as of 2022, Sony has reported that lifetime sales of both Spider-Man games, the first one and its PS5 launching Miles Morales spinoff, have topped 33 million. We have not heard about God of War, Ragnarok, sales since it announced 11 million copies sold in its first 10 weeks. But the point stands, Spider-Man 2, in theory, should be one of the biggest exclusives in the whole PS5 generation. So it's not coming to PC. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. If not the biggest like it was last time. It'll probably eventually come to PC, but just after like a month or a couple of months or something. I don't know. There are or a couple years, a year or so. Anyway, there are two ways this this can go. Given the high quality of the first game, all PlayStation players show up for the second one and sales increase further as tends to happen with sequels in well-received franchises. That does, that, uh, that does seem likely. Conversely, you can sometimes run into more of the same syndrome, more the same syndrome where, where the first time everyone was wowed by just how impressive Insomniac Spider-Man played. But now, the, the wow factor may be gone, even with new things like symbiotic powers, symbiotic powers. I do expect Spider-Man 2 to do very well, but it does feel like it's getting a bit drowned out by so many absolutely stunning releases this year. Everyone has been talking about Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3 non-stop and now Star- Hey, don't forget Sea of Stars. I'm actually enjoying that game. I love it. And now Starfield, uh, for better or worse, has totally sucked the oxygen out of the room, leaving really no one talking about Spider-Man at all in the run-up run to launch here. The most real news I've heard from the game during the period is about their very cool themed PS5 launching. Something just feels a bit off here. Granted, the news cycle is not real life. And again, it's important not to underestimate the fact that Spider-Man is one of the most popular IPs in the entire world. Why do you think Sony is bothering so is bothering to try to make an entire universe based on nothing but Spider-Man villains? Uh, Spider-Man villains on film. Oh yeah, is that like the 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 five the the something five or something? I don't know. And Insomniac's realization of Spidey's world is one of the best we've seen from the IP. We'll see how the game launches in a, in a month from now. As Starfield hype drama fades, hopefully Spidey will re-enter the conversation, and we'll see and hear more from it. Regardless, it should be big. I don't know, man. Is this is, is this just a, a a push to try and hey, don't forget about Spider Man. There's also a movie coming out, by the way. Is this like a push for that? I don't know, but I didn't even know it was coming out. <laughs> I, I had no clue there was a Spider Man Two coming out this year, and I don't have a PS Five anyway, so it's, not, it's none, of, none of my concern to begin with. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Spider Man Two. Uh, is it being out? Yes, it looks like it's obviously being outshined by the current releases, but do you think it's going to be one of play? What well, it might be one of PlayStation's most important releases, but like other people are looking at other games on other consoles and, sh and stuff right now. So I don't know, man. Uh, what do you think? Do you, do you think Spider-Man 2 is is being out is being drowned out? Or do you think it's more, it's still like more of the same gameplay, you know, cause like, it's just gonna be like Spider-Man 1 except different uh, story and a different story and it's just some simulate powers. It's still gonna be the same type of gameplay though. So is that worth it? I mean, you could just watch Twitch streamers or kick streamers. I probably won't be playing it. So you don't have to watch me. I'm not gonna try to advertise myself here. Kick.com slash paper sin. Anyway, um, you could watch one of them play it and just get the story for, for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to actually, this is not a type of game that people actually need to go out and buy and play. It's just something that maybe the sense of story will be so different. If you want to watch it for the story while someone else plays it on, twi on Twitch or Kick, then do that. But anyway, uh, probably shouldn't have said they know that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And do you plan on playing this? If so, let me know. No? Um, but yeah, you know what it is after that. 
don't forget to do those three things I like to ask you to do and like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know what it is after that. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace and much love to you.